Hello and welcome, Canadian here. Uh, I just uploaded the comparison of the uh, Shimano 105 5800 components and Shimano Tiagra 4 5, 500 components. So uh, 11 speed and 9 speed components, very interesting video. video. But I decided to make another one about just the, the brakes alone because uh, I have something interesting to say here. All right, when we are buying the Shimano 105 5800 uh, brakes uh, as customers, we are being told that we are getting the system that is minimizing one weight, two is minimizing the friction, and three we are getting superb uh, braking power. All right, so let's just measure that. Uh, we should be very honest uh, with, the, with this, very fair. Uh, I own both uh, 105 and Tiagra components, um, but when I was weighing those brakes, this one, this caliper didn't have the bolt, so it was a little bit too light. And also I lost the, uh, the spacer, so I also took one spacer off the 105 brakes, so one of these doesn't have a spacer, so now it's just all as it should be. Let's, ju let's just uh, check the weight now. We're starting with 105, the system minimizing uh, <laughs> the weight and we have 386, it was 388 before. Now we don't have the spacer, so two grams. And then uh, Tiagra, 378. So 384, 378. Dual pivot, aluminum, minimizing weight. And this one, old, very cheap, very good, and still lighter. All right. The second thing, maybe let's talk about the, um, the braking power first. Um, I've, been tr I've been training and testing both uh, brakes on my Cannondale Cat 8 and Cat, uh, Cat 10 uh, uh, bikes, both in same wet conditions, uh, rainy conditions and very windy conditions in Iceland. So there were some steep uphills, steep downhills. Uh, I was just um, very happy with my track work components. I was also happy with my uh, Shimano 105 brakes, but I didn't feel very much difference between the Triagra and 105. Uh, I also didn't test them like the same day, it was maybe a half year of year of difference when I purchased this one and I had, uh, had been uh, trying uh, these, but you can tell that th these dual pivot brakes will be much better and will, be, will have superb braking power. I wouldn't say that, but this is just my opinion and and this is what my hands uh, felt. It was okay with Jagra, it was also very good with uh, Shimano 105. Maybe a bit better, but I can't tell that for sure. So, Jagra is lighter, braking power, well, I don't feel so much uh, of a difference. And then the third thing, uh, why do we have dual pivot here and um, does it really minimize the friction? Uh, as you can see, those two systems work differently and that's that's correct because uh, when you look at these at our braking pads for uh, dual pivot brakes and for single pivot brakes you will see that those in 105 will uh, press exactly against each other those here will not but it doesn't make those Tiagra uh, brakes braking badly Another thing is the friction. Uh, when we look at the uh, dual pivot system here in 105, uh, I'm gonna show you one thing. Uh, maybe, yeah, you will see it now here. You can see this little steel roller here. You can see it's rolling. Uh, one arm of the brake is rolling on the, on the roller that is attached to the other arm of the brake. And this really creates friction. You will even hear it especially in my uh, rear brake. I'm gonna show you that. So this is just by doing this move. This roller here does make uh, the friction and you can feel it when braking. I thought that my, uh, my cables were so poor, uh, of so poor quality, uh, but it's actually the dual pivot system that makes this uh, problem. Now Tiagra, absolutely no problem. Very, very smooth and absolutely what you can hear now are just my gloves. Uh, so uh, it's not less weight, it's not less friction. 
it may be a bit more power but it's not so obvious and also it's good maybe that these pads uh, work uh, exactly against each other not as uh, in these uh, single pivot systems but once again if you really consider buying some better group set uh, I would not be so sure that what you read about for example Shimano 105.5800 on the Shimano website or any um, store website uh, will be really uh, what you will feel on the bike now I would like to hear from you guys who are using the Altigra and Dura Ace um, dual pivot brakes and those calipers uh, because I don't remember having so much problems on my uh, Campagnolo record dual pivot brakes those Campagnolo uh, calipers were just great in my opinion so I'm really really interested in getting into Altigra and Dura Ace if you use them just let us know in the comments uh, thank you for watching this video i hope it was um, at least a bit helpful for you guys and i will see you soon bye bye